now that the dust has settled, and you've been able to think about it, what was the best thing about winning last year? Honestly, the, the uh, smiles on the guys' faces that, um, you know, you put all the blood, sweat, and tears into the year. And there was a lot of that last year. It was, uh, Peaks and valleys we had. Did you have six regular season losses? Six regular season losses. Hey, you learn a lot from losses, right? You and, do. Uh, <laughs> we learned plenty. What was the pressure like for a lacrosse program that hadn't won since 1991? Uh, it was enormous. Um, you know, when you think about it, there's so many proud alums and the tradition that Willie Scroggs built. I, I think we were paralyzed a little bit by the pressure. The pressure was big, and I think that's why last year, you know, getting to the Final Four after 23 years, but then winning it once yeah. you're there, I think was uh, just so exciting for the guys and just a relief for everybody. What's your response when people say it's not hard to recruit at Chapel Hill? Uh, you know, <laughs> I just smile. <laughs> Franklin Street's where it all goes down. The main drag, this place is shut down after big, big time basketball wins and football. And Unfortunately, Memorial Day weekend, they didn't shut down Franklin Street because the students were already gone. Yeah. Last year, prior to the Final Four, if I told you Chris Cloutier would score 14 goals in two games, honestly, what would your reaction have been? Chris has come so far in, in a short period of time. He had one goal as a freshman. As a freshman, he had one goal. And, um, you know, I think... You looking Chris, for a refund up in Canada after yeah. that? <laughs> Get much hotter than that. What were you like as a player here? We're yeah. first team All Americans, so don't boot you me and tell me that you aren't good. Freshman year, I never traveled. Yeah. Played in two games, and I think I had three penalties, so I got my money's worth. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about handling adversity and 10% of life is what happens to you, 90% is how you yeah. react to it. I got cut freshman year in high school. Did you? Yeah, first wow. year playing, I got cut, played rec ball. I had a choice, go back to baseball or play rec lacrosse, and then uh, made varsity, and it was because of a shoelace. The senior broke his shoelace the week before our first game, no and Coach Halls, John Halls, was my defensive coach. At he Loyola? Told the guy to go in and get another pair of cleats, said, Bresh, you get in, I never left in two years. So, it's all over That's shoelace. That's a great story. <laughs> if you were to be an outlier and say, not going to recruit 9th, 10th, 11th graders, I'm only going to recruit seniors. How negatively affected do you think your program would be right now? Well, unfortunately, I mean, the early recruiting process, everybody's in it and everybody's committing to every school at every level. The poaching of players and the recruiting of other kids, players who are committed is, is a tough pill to swallow because our, our lacrosse community has been so tight for so long. I'd rather recruit seniors. I just think there's so much growth and development early on in their lives. Well, four years just go way too fast. It should, be, it should be eight years. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at me. It's, it's been 30. I know. <laughs> I love these young men. and um, I'm so proud when they you know, graduate and move on and start their lives and hear about their kids. Specific to this team on the field, if you were to repeat, what would have to happen? we got to play great team defense. Our offense has got to come along. Our, our young guys have to have to develop pretty quickly um, on the offensive end. I think we've been kind of inconsistent there, but, you know, we're going to get better. You know, I think once they got a taste of what it's like, um, you know, they want that taste back. I didn't hug you uh, at the championship. <laughs> in, the, in, the middle of, uh, in the middle of the interview, but I'm going to hug you every time I see you. Oh, thanks, Mark.